Oh boy, welcome back to Animal Crossing Wild Leaf. <laughs> wow, I haven't played Wild World for about, I don't know, three, four months? I don't know how I made that mistake. There is a lot to talk about in this episode. We have got a lot to do. But before that, check out the new town layout. I may have had a lot of fun with the save editor, getting used to it, all the stuff I can do. Ignore that, that doesn't look very good. It turns out you can change quite a lot of the landscape and still have the game function just fine. The entire... There's my punishment for playing God. The entire geometry has changed in Cosmos. I mean, look, I have... Oh, this is one of my favourite spots in town, honestly. It looks like an actual little town plaza. You've got some houses over here. This is the little neighbourhood, and you've got this space in the middle. I might put a public works project here at some point, you know. I've rearranged where all the flowers are. Some are actually dying. Here's our lemon tree that I've placed at a different location. There's a spoiler for an event that's occurring today. I'll just go away from there a sec. Um, I'll show all of the differences as I walk through the town. Some of them are probably a lot more obvious, like this pond is new, I've made a little pansy garden, those hybrids, everything that exists is legitimately obtained. Only the locations have been shuffled around, so these roses are all roses and trees I've been growing over the past couple of weeks. These saplings are all store-bought. By the way, we have a slightly upgraded store, and there is also an entirely new shop in Main Street. It is also a special event today, and it's a villager's birthday, so I best just get started because, like I said, there is a ton of stuff to get through, and that's not forgetting the trip to the island. So, since I've already had a little glance up here... Oh, and we have our fancy new billboard over here now. I just feel like it's better next to the town tree, you know? That's where you get all of your information from. There's the birthday. Today is Carl's birthday, so we need to go and get him a present. But first, we keep of presents... Mayor, today is Naughty or Nice Day. I prepared a little something to celebrate Naughty or Nice Day. Would you like to see? Look at Isabel's little Sansa outfit. She is just the cutest little thing. It's a holiday stocking. It's a gift for nice girls and boys. Oh, it's a shame I don't have two friends to play New Leaf with me. <laughs> but I am a filthy emulation. See, I'm not, I'm not a good girl because I'm playing this game on PC. So let's be all of the children. I'll be this child. <laughs> yeah, that's a good... That's a good face. I'm angry about that. I guess I didn't want to give them all of my stuff. And I'll be this happy child over in the corner here. See? See? I'm happy. It's good. <laughs> Why that keeps happening? I'm patrolling this area at the moment. Big Top said there was a whole bunch of pitfall seeds planted all around his house. I think I may have discovered the problem. Marcy, can you stop clipping your nose through my net, please? <laughs> well, I'm glad to know Wilt. Wilt. <laughs> I was going to say I'm glad Walt is, is doing his job protecting the town when I'm not here, but he's doing a better job than me because I don't know the names of my own citizens. Um, I need to actually shift the bridge a little bit because th there's kind of an issue with it. Yeah. Pierce, little help. I'm moving you out of here, Pierce. Oh, uh, Winnie. I heard you have a pond smelt. I, I do. But uh, it was going to go to the museum, but I am very tempted by the idea of a big star tea. And I'm sure I can catch another one of those. I didn't actually acknowledge my cute little outfit. I am no longer in my stupid fishing clothes or Thanksgiving <laughs> outfit. Instead, I am in a cute little raincoat, leaf and stripy socks. What does this look like? Oh, I like that. Look guys, I'm a Steven Universe. <gasps> we both have stars. Look at this. Look at the look. We're like twins. Except for the fact that you're a horse. The campsite, I think I might have shuffled a little down the cliff as well. And we also have some houses up here. Because they kind of did ignore that too. They kind of didn't uh, fit the shape of the town. So I thought I'd put some people near the beach. And you may have just seen that retail is now on the shore. Because I thought it just looked like a cute little beach shack. And it felt like it belonged on the beach like that. My house has also been given a makeover, and it's still, it's still, it's still a little hodgepodge, let's be honest. But it's better than it was. <laughs> let's see, where did I get these items from? Well, I think I picked up this marshmallow chair from a tree. These two were obviously ordered from Sahara's campsite, I think it might have been. Uh, this chair, the cabin chair, I think a villager gave this to me. 
Uh, we all saw me fish up the football fish the last episode. Oh, and speaking of Sahara, I got this flooring from her and I got the wrench wall, I think, from a villager. As well as this, um, little cabinet here. It has a GameCube on it. One of my favourite consoles from my childhood. So that makes me very happy. And before I forget, I need to show off the stuff I got in the last episode. So here's a little fruits basket that we got from the guy. Um... The turkey, you know that, what was his name? <laughs> Gobbles? Franklin! There we go, wow. So, what we got from him was a harvest bed. That's cute. It doesn't really go with my house, as if this house has any kind of a theme. But I do like the purple colour scheme in it. We also got a harvest bureau. Oh, that's sweet! I might keep that instead of the office locker, you know. And finally, I have a harvest wall lamp. Which I don't really like as much. It's a little weird. It seems to be shaped like a turkey foot, and there's something kind of uncomfortably quirky about that. I've been doing a lot of digging over the past couple of days. Um, I have a lot of fossils. <laughs> Let's go hand these over to the museum. <laughs> okay, we're hitting Main Street a little early in the episode because I want to loosen my pockets of fossils. Oh, Blathers, have I got a treat for you. I have 13 fossils for you to look over, and that's not even counting the ones that need to be dug up today. More than one, I see. Yes, very much more than one. And he's so happy to do it for us. I do believe I found something that's not part of the collection. I really want to see how many of those I haven't actually found. <laughs> okay, so 11 of them. Did I forget to donate these two? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> hey, look what we have here. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the grand opening of TNT Mart. Come on in. Oh, look, we have a new tool. We have the slingshot, which we can finally take down balloons with. And we have a Christmas tree, and I also would like that tea chest. But yes, I want the Christmas tree. Big festive tree. We can go and stick it in our house for naughty and nice day. Now what kind of choice of wallpapers do we finally have? A sky wall. I love it. Jingle carpet. Oh, we absolutely should do that. Let's go ahead and take that. Let's have a tacky Christmas floor for the season. We also have some special festive items. A pink glow wand. I've already gotten a couple of those, but I can't remember if this is one of them. So I'll take it. And what colour is this one going to be? Yellow glow wand. I might already have that one, but let's take it anyway. Thanks for always taking the time to stop by our shop. Ah, oh, she's so cute and appreciative. I should thank you as well. Thanks a whole bunch. I think that might have been an indicator that we are at the end of Mabel and Sable's little friendship task. Which means we have a treat coming for us. And what is this thing? A milkmaid dress. Ah, uh, I kind of like. I like how she said that's the perfect outfit that screams milkmaid. What does this uh, dog tooth look like? Yeah. That matches the skirt actually that it gives me, but I also really like the star top because. Uh, Winnie gave it to me. <laughs> I genuinely couldn't remember her name. What cute accessories do we have in here? Oh, I like the band-aid. I always think that looks really scrappy and cute. Yeah, I want that. Now let's finally take a look at this brand new shop. Hello, chum. Crikey, it's the mayor here in my shop. Welcome, miss. My name's Kix. I run this little shoe shop. Please have a look around. Oh, isn't it cute? I know, I know. I react to every Animal Crossing NPC with look at this cute thing, but look at this cute thing. You look like you do a lot of walking. You're in the right place, chum. He's just look. I love these red shoes as well. We can finally get some shoes and socks in this game, so I'm no longer stuck in my stinky Halloween feet. I've been wearing the same socks for weeks. My villagers must despise me. I'm kind of feeling those. I like I like the stripiness of them. I do like my stripy socks, but I'm gonna try these on. They have a, you know what, they have a nice autumnal look to them. 
Oh, that's right. Um... <laughs> so, I did say the map uh, was completely functional. That might have been a lie. You see, even though you can move the stairs, which are now all... Ooh, hey. Oh, look at our pretty hybrids, by the way. All the way over here, at the end of town, um, the spawn point when you return never goes away from the middle of the town, where you can see the steps on the map. So whenever you come back from Main Street, you just run through the train tracks. Oh, you really got your own fern fossil? See, now that's interesting. I put in an order for the same type of item, but when I got it, it turned out to be a fake. How does somewhere give you a fake fern fossil? <laughs> How about you sell me your fern fossil? I'm on a bad streak here. You can help me. How does 1,200 bell sound? Well, it's a little below what I think retail would pay for a fossil, but let's do a villager a solid and give them a piece of culture. Here, have some bones. <laughs> this is a very suspicious looking trade. Oh, Pierce. Let me tell you what frustrates me to no end. I get this letter from a friend who goes on and on about a big new lighthouse in town. It's our first public works project request and it's one of the best ones. He thinks his town is better than Cosmos now. You're the mayor, fund a lighthouse. I'll tell Isabel about it and you can work your mayor magic. Yes! Yes! I'm so happy to finally get one of those because it's one I really want to build. Houseplant. Houseplant. You know, I came here to empty my pockets before a journey but um, that's not happening, huh? Well, it's finally time to go over here and ignore that the boat seems to be clipping through the dock. I, I've had issues placing it and this stayed functional and it was fine, so I just left it alone. I can still access it. So I don't have an uh, introductory message from Cap'n because, as happened with the last episode, I already went over to the island so I could grab myself a lemon. So he's acting like he already knows us. So basically, Cap'n is the guy I don't know what I expect it to happen there. Uh, who runs little boat tours to and from our mainland to his island where his family stays? That cannot be good for the boat. I wasn't nervous until you said that. Close my eyes. Oh, look at this gorgeous little cabin. Oh, a swimsuit. Oh, hey. Oh, I didn't talk to you yet. This is Grams. This is Cap'n's mother. That'll be 40 medals. Oh, man. I, my, I love the way it's me daughter in law. <laughs> that was actually typed down. This is Cap'n's little daughter, Layla. And your friend is here to play with me. Oh, she's so cute. Bye, Ote. I don't think we have anything to sell her. No, we don't. But you can play a little game here where you can sell her items for much, much lower than retail price, but you are paid back in cuteness. Oh, huh. How much is this hat? 50 medals. Well. We don't have any of that currency, but the way we obtain that is to play some games here set up by Cap'n's wife, Leilani. Look who it be, good to see ya. Yeah, we've already met before because I did the tours to get lemons. Huh. Easy hide and seek tour. Okay, that'd be a lot of fun. Let's do that. I would like to buy that swimsuit. You know what? I think instead I'm going to try and aim for the hat today because I wanted to get a present for Kyle's birthday. And the swimsuit would take a very, very, very long time to save up for, so I think I'm just going to aim for 15 today. A nice, easy goal. Plus it's Kyle's birthday and we should be focusing all on him. Oh look, it's Tortimer everyone! Hey there, Whippersnapper! Thanks for joining us in the Easy Hide and Seek Tour. I'm not gonna keep doing this because newfangled people can't... Okay, bye! <laughs> Set to go! Alright, now we have to find villagers and there's one. 
There's an octopus. Marina! I really like this game, because you can actually do this in your own town. Sometimes villagers will randomly request to play with you, but on the island you get to see people that don't live there, and I just think that's a really fun way to see other people, huh? Is that Pondit's work project? I forgot they had these. Okay, for some reason the island is very sluggish. Oh, I guess they have these so people can hide behind them. That, that makes sense. So you look around all of the trees, there we go, all of the houses and projects, and look at Dizzy! Oh, he looks like some sort of like preschool toy. Um, until you find all four villagers who are hiding out in the town. We found half of them already, and we've still got six and a half minutes left, so I think we're gonna cruise right by this one. Hello? Cranston! I used to have you in my old Wild World New Leaf Town. I don't know why I keep saying Wild World today. <laughs> so I only have one more person to find who is right here. Annalisa! Oh, she's an anteater and a very cute one. Wow, that really was easy, how I didn't really properly get to finish my explanation. <laughs> you found them all, nice work. That was fast, really fast, you meet, you get seven medals, nice. We've almost actually met our heart goal. Okay, let's see who we get this time, it was surprisingly easy to find those guys straight away, so I wonder if we'll have the same luck here, yes I will. Apollo! Uh -huh. Wow, I know it's the easy hide and seek tool, but they really are not hiding at all, are they? You can tell how rarely I actually do the island mini games. I think I only did like a bunch of the same ones, uh, so I could get the wetsuit because you probably guessed that enables us. Hello there, Rolf. You found me, darn. <laughs> that enables us to swim in the ocean, which I could do with to get to a certain little secret beach I have made on the right side of the map and an area that we cannot yet access because it would require a bridge to get to. Now, why did I make that and not just put a bridge there? Oh! Oh, it's Pashmina! I thought it was, um... Uh... Fuchsia. Her colours look really similar. Oh, as I was saying, why did I put that little secret island there and not put a bridge to it? Because I would like to save up for a bridge and earn the access to our secret island. Okay, so we've already found Apollo, Pashmina and Rolf. Who is the final villager that's hiding around this island map? I bet I've passed them several times, haven't I? And I'll spot them in the edit and circle them. Oh, hello! Just as I was about to get desperate, flip! That's you got me. I have never seen that villager before. <laughs> no surprise I couldn't find them. But before we go, let's have a little explore of our own little private island, where it is always summer. So it seems our local fruits are bananas and durians, and we also have lovely hibiscus plants, as well as some wild growing flowers and a mantis on top of them. What's great about this island is you can get pretty much all of the summertime ocean fish and bugs. So even though it's the dead of winter, you can come here and stock up on a lot of very, very expensive beetles. And, you know, it's a bit cheap, ironically, but that's actually how I'm- Oh, a birdwing butterfly! We haven't seen one yet because we didn't start in summer. Yeah, because it's such a good way of making bells by catching all of the rare bugs and stuff. God, the way Lloyd turned over to me then was really creepy, it's like he almost figured my plan out. I'll be coming back here a lot in the series and also on my own time so I can save up a bunch of bells for our merely duties. <laughs> here is our sailor's hat, which means it's time to head over to Carl's house and celebrate his birthday. Oh, Marcy's here! Oh, it's my favourite dudes! You made it, please come inside already! Oh, it's the first villager birthday we've seen! He has KK but all villagers have KK birthday play on their stereos. A little cake and a villager coming over to celebrate with them. So let's give Kyle his present. Marcy gave me a present a little bit ago. My heart's been beating really fast since then. Does Kyle have a crush on Marcy? Do you have a present for me? I brought you this. Oh, I could actually give him one of my plants, but I put so much love and effort into the sailor's hat. We're gonna give that to him. I hope he appreciates it. Oh, uh, thanks. I wasn't expecting something like this, but he took the time to pick it out, so I'll be sure to take care of it. Oh no, he doesn't like it. 
I've humiliated myself in the Animal Crossing universe. <laughs> I wonder who will show up to my birthday party. Me. You know, now that you take away all of the cool grungy furniture, Carl's house just kind of looks really depressing. <laughs> Maybe I should have given him a floor. Oh, I should have given him the house plants. Why didn't I think? <laughs> it's too late now. Oh, wow. I had two plants in my inventory to give him. And he clearly likes them because he has a little cacti over here and this bonsai tree. And I was blind to his needs. I'm sorry, Kyle. Oh, at least he still appreciates me. I should have realised, Kyle, that you were a wolf and would probably want naturey gifts. Oh, before you leave, I want to tell you that I remember this birthday party for the rest of my life. Thanks for coming and giving me a present. This game is so wholesome, guys. I think it's time to Christmas up our house. The tree may have been too big, <laughs> but it's so festive. Okay, well, it's a little cramped, but I think it looks good for now. I managed to find a decent space for things, and our festive tree fits nicely in the corner while still retaining all of the furniture. Well, now that I've moved all the stuff around, I actually have a brand new spot to do my outro. And Isabel is here with me, which is a nice way to close off Naughty or Nice Day, slash Kyle's Birthday, slash Island Tour, slash whatever it else we did. Show off the town I hacked tour day. Well, it's the lead up to Christmas. Jingle should be arriving soon, so we can tell him all about things that the villagers want this year. And it should be almost time for the snow to start appearing in town, so we can start doing Christmassy and wintry related activities, and then it will actually be Christmas itself. But for now, I'm gonna call it an episode there. Bye bye!